Welcome back biology class. I really hope you enjoyed the mitosis dance. Um, you will have to do a project showing mitosis. You can either do a poster or a video. You'll probably have to present with the video like we did during photosynthesis and cellular respiration. So I challenge a couple of you maybe to make a mitosis dance for yourselves and if you want to get together and do that as a group I'd be happy to give you all credit for that. I really enjoyed that video. I thought it was funny and it's very informational. So what we're going to talk about today is mitosis and cytokinesis. So the key concept for today is that cells divide during mitosis and cytokinesis. And right there is a picture of two cells that are dividing. And they're at the part of cytokinesis where the cytoplasm gets split apart. So chromosomes condense at the start of mitosis. So condense, condense means that they're going to get they're going to get smaller. Okay, so that's what they're going to start off to do. So DNA wraps around proteins called histins that condense it. So this is what it does. It breaks it off into the, what it looks like to be an X. So we're going to talk about that today. So DNA plus proteins is called a chromatin. Tin as in T-I-N. The next one half of the duplicated chromosome is called a chromatid. So that means if we cut it in half, that's going to be the chromatid. Sister chromatids are held together by the centromere, which is going to be right in the middle. Telomeres protect DNA and do not include genes, and that's going to be at the end of it. So here we go. We have the chromatid, which is going to be the half. We have the centromere, which is right in the middle, and the telomeres at the ends, which actually stops it from, um, I guess, combining with other DNA. If you're having troubles with these definitions, they are all on page 131 as well. So we're going to start talking about mitosis and cytokinesis next. So mitosis and cytokinesis produce two genetically identical daughter cells. So that's going to mean two genetically the same. They have to be the same daughter cells. During interphase, it prepares the cells to divide. So interphase we talked about earlier. Okay, an interphase is going to be G1, S, and G2. And then we start mitosis and cytokinesis. Um, during our interphase as well, DNA is replicated. Sorry, I didn't mean to go so fast there. Okay, so DNA is replicated. So we do have a parent cells. If you look at that, you should see all the organelles that are used during replication, which are the centrioles, the spindle fibers, chromosomes, and nucleus with the DNA. So that's a parent cell. Mitosis divides the cell nucleus into four phases. During the first phase, which is pro prophase, chromosomes condense and spindle fibers form. Okay. The nuclear envelope breaks down the centrioles and begin to move in opposite poles, and th that's when the spindle fibers were will form. On page 133 is a great diagram to show what's happening as we go along. And that is the same exact picture. So if the spindle fibers are moving and they're going to each other side and then it's going to start pulling the DNA or the chromosomes. The next one, metaphase. Okay, the chromosomes are going to line up in the middle of the cell. Does everybody see the big X's? Those are the chromosomes and they are lining up right in the middle. What happens next in anaphase is that the sister chromatids separate to opposite sides of the cell. So they get pulled apart. So the X's break right in half. In telophase, the nuclei form and chromosomes begin to uncoil. And lastly, in cytokinesis, okay, the membranes start to pinch in animal cells and a plate forms in plant cells because they have the cell membrane which keeps it all together. 
so a plate pinches it off and then um in animal cells it actually kind of separates and pinches apart which you can see that in the picture there and then you have two different complete identical cells if there are any questions about this just let me know and see you during 5.3